The Stalking Monster, written by Tressa Graves, edited by Sam Hamilton, read by Stephen Roberts. This is a work of fiction. Names, characters, businesses, places, events, locales, and incidents are either the products of the author's imagination or used in a fictitious manner. Any resemblance of actual persons, living or dead, or actual events are purely coincidental. Crack Horror Rod sat in the corner of his makeshift office, cluttered with an assortment of alcohol bottles, crack pipes, porn, small white rocks, all laying in wait of his pleasure. Bloodshot from the prolonged drug use, Rod closed his eyes and balled his fist up till his knuckles turned white as he relived the conversation he overheard his adoptive parents having one night as a small child. Their bedroom door was closed and locked, but the argument over the flawed human being living in their home was easily overheard. Give him a chance, Brittany blurted out to her husband. No, there's something wrong with the boy. His own mother didn't even want him. Even she could see what he was to become, Ben asserted as he paused and looked upward, rubbing his head before continuing. She was a druggie and a prostitute who walked the streets. She told us herself she picked up a John for drug money. He was conceived by her fucking for drug money. Hell, Brittany, she did drugs her entire pregnancy. He's bad news. Damaged goods. The school doesn't even want him enrolled there. What the fuck were we thinking? Were we that desperate for a child? 